Well, PricewaterhouseCoopers has done an annual survey for the last 16 years of CEOs from around the globe. And it's really to get a perspective on what's on the minds of CEOs, what are the big topics of the day. We live in a very global environment, in interconnected world, and this year's theme was really about how are CEOs adapting to change. We interviewed over 1,300 CEOs from around the globe, 60 countries, and in Canada, we interviewed 120. And what we've done is we have cuts of what global CEOs think and what Canadian CEOs think, and then we get to compare and contrast, which I think is really useful. And we launched the survey in Davos at the World Economic Forum. Canadian CEOs are really optimistic today. They're very confident about growth prospects, and that is different than some of the CEOs and their counterparts across the globe. I think uh, their confidence, if you have a three-year time horizon, is stronger than it is in the immediate term. And again, that reflects the fact that there may be some bumps and some challenges short term along the way. And of course, CEOs have learned to become much more resilient within their organizations. Three primary reasons from my perspective that they're confident. First of all, we've got very strong balance sheets, lots of cash for companies to invest in the future, either organically or through acquisitions. And this allows them to be confident about the future. We've got a strong and stable banking sector, very different than in other places of the world, such as Europe. And third of all, uh, I think there's a real optimism around the U.S. will solve its problems around the fiscal cliff. And again, as our largest trading partner, that's really important to Canada and our economic growth. CEOs are very concerned about labor shortage and do we have the right talents to fit the jobs of the future and I think there's a bit of a call to action from universities, from community colleges, from trade organizations to say are we developing the skills needed for the future. Another issue that came up very strongly in the survey is concerns over the longer term with respect to the size of the government deficits both federally and provincially. Couple that with the personal high debt levels in Canada and what could the impact of that be over the longer term to Canadian business and the Canadian economy. I think as we have come through the post-2008 financial crisis, as we've looked at a number of the corporate scandals that have taken place, CEOs today are placing developing the right corporate culture much higher on their priority list. It's about building trust and it's about having really a stronger ethical compass and it's about how they deal with all stakeholders, whether it's employees, it's clients, it's people in their supply chain, it's investors, it's shareholders. And this is a key focus area for most global CEOs over the upcoming year. And why, you might ask, is it so high on the radar? Well, I think it's partly about making sure that they can continue to attract and retain the right people, as the younger generation has certainly a big focus on social responsibility, working for companies that uh, give them the right career opportunities but are also doing the right thing. I would encourage everyone to really explore the key themes. There's a lot more detail and they can do that by visiting our website pwc.com slash CA slash CEO survey for more information. And I'd also say that if you'd like more information or if there's an area where PwC can help, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about the survey.